Hey, how's it going? Checking it in with my daily update. Um, I've had a day with zero appointments in and uh, didn't even have any phone calls or meetings or anything at all scheduled. And as I said yesterday, I, I left my planning to uh, first thing this morning as well, which I did get done. But the day went about as I had expected, which was uh, pockets of productivity interspersed by uh, lots of faffing and procrastination and well, not so much procrastination, but more just unplanned stuff. Um, reacting, checking things, double checking things, going back again and just kind of going around in circles. So the fact that I got done what I'd set out to get done is A, a bit of a miracle and B, um, maybe uh, an example of me not setting my sights high enough for what I could accomplish today. Uh, but I didn't have those deep blocks of work because um, it doesn't feel like I've got anything really deep to be working on at the moment, which is possibly not true. Um, I recorded a podcast episode, so planned and, and prepped and recorded and, um, and and got that ready to go for next week. Um, this week's pub podcast episode has published and we've had a good few hundred downloads already. Uh, I've actually reached 100,000 downloads on the podcast. Um, I trip, tripped over that figure over the weekend, which I was surprised and uh, pleased about. Uh, so I posted about that on social um, I uploaded more content to the app, so I'm almost there with that as well, um, and did a bit of prep work on another project. So I've I've been busy, I've got stuff done, but I think it's been marred a little bit by this, um, as I had anticipated, this sense of foreboding with the uh, lack of progress towards speaking, the actual speaking goals, i.e. getting more speaking things booked in. Um, and, I, and I think in that, that episode of this, these... Uh, little daily updates that I recorded a few days ago, probably a week or so ago, where I'd anticipated this. It's not so much an anxiety, it's just a sense of um, stalling and frustration that momentum is starting to, to, to drift and drop again. And I think I've come to the conclusion, in fact, I'm just at the gym now, I'm about to go in, I was on the drive over here, I was analysing all of this. And one of the things that I think I've just realised, and it's good to have this opportunity to articulate it here, is that uh, unless I'm actually out there, you know, those periods of time when I'm presenting, I'm delivering, and I'm feeling busy, like I'm making progress, even then I can feel like, oh, but it's probably going to slow down. And, and then inevitably it does. Um, and that's just a natural cadence of presenting, even very busy, successful presenters will have <laughs> speakers will have times where they're they're not as busy, but probably uh, more through their design and choosing rather than just because it's 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 not coming in as much as it is the case with myself. Um, but when so I feel fine when I've got loads of stuff happening. I feel like right, I'm moving in the right direction. It's all good. But also when I'm doing very specific prospecting outreach work. I've got conversations happening, I'm moving things forwards. That's when I also feel like I'm making progress towards the speaking goals, proper progress. Um, and I know that that's not the only, they are not the only measures of progress. And certainly things like the podcast and the app, they're all um, elements as well, posting on social media and creating content. That's all important. But it's those conversations that keep moving forwards just a bit at a time. They're if I've got enough of them happening and, I've, and I'm doing enough each day, that's when I feel like I'm still making progress, even if the outcome is no different. So that was a bit of a realization for me. And it might just be, I mean, of course, doing those things is very useful and beneficial. And I know I should be doing all of that. Um, the, the only real difference is in how I feel. So if I'm doing those things, and it's making me feel, okay, upbeat, positive, motivated, in control, on top of things, momentum, moving forwards, um, then there's a good chance that that's going to have a knock-on effect to other activities and uh, things that I do as well. Whereas if I'm not doing those things, even if they're kind of happening in the background, but I'm not conscious of them, I'm not doing them, I'm not specifically doing those things each day, uh, then the same progress might be made, but I just feel like a bit, oh, I'm not doing everything that I could be doing. And I've I've talked about that on these videos for quite a long time, for, for many years, in fact, um, that there are things that I know that I could be doing to move me forwards towards the speaking goals that I'm not doing. Uh, and sometimes that's because I feel like it's not, they're not, um, 
big enough steps. I've got to be judicious with how I spend my time and uh, I don't want to waste it doing certain things, even though actually doing those things would then in the long run be very beneficial. Uh, but sometimes when I'm feeling a little flustered and a little bit um, out of control, I feel like I need to be focusing my attention on things that give me instant results or at least have a chance of getting an instant result. Even if that instant result, um, pain, painful as it is to say it, is um, responses on social media. Because uh, I know that it does have a knock-on effect on the potential for pro progressing the speaking business. But um, it's because it's given me that almost validation um, and I know that I need to be very careful with that. Um, so it's not that they're not useful activities, but when I have too much of a focus on that, that's when it can become a little bit more, um, I'm, I'm doing it for the wrong reasons in that sense. I don't think I'm there at the moment, but I know that I have a tendency to move towards that. So lots going on in my head at the moment. Um, in general, I'm okay. And I'm, you know, I'm, it's how I've got a week where I'm not doing any presenting at all this week. And I think it's just because I haven't had that for quite a long time that it's throwing me a little bit. Um, so I'm going to make some plans over the course of the next um, few hours as I go into this evening. And I'm just mulling us over as to how I'm going to spend my time this week. Uh, I've got coaching clients. I've got meetings. I have got things booked in, just no presenting. So what am I going to do with those big chunks of time? Where am I going to get my focus when I carve out these 90-minute blocks of deep work? Because um, I don't want too many more days like today even though, as I said, I actually did get quite a lot of stuff done. Anyway.